Alright folks, Captain Dave here, in the wolf den, and I had an idea that I wanted to kind of share with you here and talk about uh, when it comes to these two reels. <music> Is the Daiwa Ryoga. Okay. I don't think I showed you all this one. I showed you a different one. When I first got it. That one. I since sold. This truly is like a benchmark. Of Daiwa quality. Right here. I mean this reel is. Extraordinary. In every way. Um. You just got to hold it, feel it, look at it, fish it. And I mean, there's nothing on this entire reel that says, Hey, I'm, I'm cheap and I'm skimping and I'm cutting corners. All right. This is a really high speed 7.4 to one gear ratio. Uh, Daiwa Ryoga. It's got like, uh, I think this is the jigging model. And I believe this one only has 11 bearings, ball bearings, versus the freshwater sort of version that has Daiwa's Z-Mag control system on the side. This isn't. This is all centrifugal cast control via this knob right here. That ticks. Everything's ticking on this reel. All right. The cast control is in here. It even does this. When you have a fish paying out the drag, it even makes noise, a ticking. Um, it's got this really badass handle on it. Okay. This, unlike all the Shimano's, I'm going to, I'm, I got this leader on here. I'm going to try to leave it on here. It's going to be a giant pain while we're talking here, but I don't feel like retying this leader on. Um, what was I saying? Even this, that's metal. And I mean, that's positive metal. Even on the Shimano's, that's plastic. All right. So Dio has really gone out of their way to up the ante here. This is what they would refer to as a light tackle jigging rod. Not a light tackle uh, casting rod, not, or I mean, reel, a jigging reel. That's what they consider this. And they pulled out all the stops, all right? So, it got me thinking. Look at this one. A little similar. A little. I wish this was the size of this. This is the smallest in the Daiwa Saltist category. All right. This one here. Only is sporting four corrosion resistant bearings, 11 bearings. And oh wait, you know, you may not know where all these bearings are hidden. Okay. Well, just right here. I'll, I'll just, just say real quick. There's one or two. Each side of the level one, three, four. Inside here, five, six, could have multiple bearings in there. Here, seven, eight. On each side of the spool, nine, ten. I mean, I don't know where they're hiding them all either. But everywhere there's a point of wear or rotation, there's a bearing. Okay? So, let's set this one to the side and let's pull out. 
this. I get so many comments on those Shimano Tritons. It's ridiculous. A $55 reel? Is everybody that big of a cheapskate? And I mean those dang the catfish guys. Cat fishermen inherently, I do not know why this is. Love cheap tackle. Love it. I mean, you go to like a, a cat fisherman's website, say, I don't know, supply website or a forum. Man, they're sitting around talking about a Shakespeare Tidewater all plastic reel. I mean, come on. But, I mean, I get so many comments about that Shimano Triton. Well, the reason I bought this, these, is I wanted an upgrade from a Shimano Triton. The Shimano Triton is as simple as you can get. The Shimano Triton's black, all graphite, about this size, level wind, sort of power handle, small drag, cast control, doesn't really cast that great. Okay. All these things. And it's a cheap reel. $55, $65. Okay. It doesn't even own but one bearing. Nice thing about it. It's got one bearing right there. On each side of the spool, it's got brass bushings. Okay. I get so many comments about those reels, it's just utterly ridiculous. Okay, but what we're talking about here is the Daiwa High Speed Saltist Black. Pure name for this, the full name. Saltist Level Wind 20, that's the size, okay, HC. Now, I don't know what the HC stands for. But I know it, stand, it must stand for this. You let that go. Auto-engaging. Auto-engaging. Not instant auto-engaging. Because the handle does come around. And then it auto-engages. To me, that's what the HC in, the, in this means. Look at that handle. Ball bearing, ball bearing, okay, um, but in comparison of these two reels, this one's a little heavier, this one's lighter, this one, the, uh, the Daiwa Ryoga, will hold about 250 meters of 20 pound test, or 20 pound braid. That equals 273 yards for you non-metrics, which I'm a non-metric. Okay. Uh, on 15 pound, this will hold, now the braid I'm talking about here, will hold 360 yards. Okay, now let's look at the difference here again. You go over to the saltest, they don't even talk about 15 to 20 pound test or braid. On the saltest, you're looking at 40 to 50 pound braid, uh, 50, 200 yards, 40, about 260 yards. So I don't even know what I got on here. I don't even know what I got. I don't know what it is, but it's too heavy, I'm sure. But what I wanted to do is just show you the difference here. Okay. $400. Really, anywhere you go. It's going to be over $400. 
that reel right there, the Daiwa Ryoga. MSRP, which is an absolute joke, $229.99. You want to know reality? Reality, $189. $189.99. Sometimes $184, $182, $180. This reel is, was extremely popular in the silver the silver colored Daiwa Saltist. There's videos, there's all kinds of info all about the silver ones, not about the HC model. The HC, like I said, auto engaging and black. Okay, let's look at this again. Handles. Okay, light duty jigging, actually light duty salt water, okay, um, drag surface, I mean, come on, the drag on this, they say, I think 16, 17 pounds, <coughs> I believe on the saltest. This is a 20-pound drag reel all day long. 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. Got it right there. 7.4. This, 6.1. Can you really tell the difference? Can the average Joe tell the difference? No. The average Joe doesn't even know. When you start to notice the serious difference in this speed is when you are jigging or something like that and you really have the need for speed, all right? But another thing I wanted to mention about these reels is, look, I don't use these every day. This isn't an everyday reel for me or heading it to my customers every day. But I've had these reels now over a year. And they're like I just took them out of the box. I can't say that for a lot of reels. I can't say that for uh, most brands of reels. I can't say that. Um, this Saltist is, in my opinion... Everything that this Daiwa Ryoga is in a more of an HD heavy duty fashion, okay, thumb bar versus lever. Handle, let me look at the swept handle, swept handle here, okay. If you are really looking to step it up and you're looking for a reel to cast big, heavy stuff, all right, um, bottom fishing, jigging, vertical jigging, let's say. This is your man right here. This is your man. This thing, to most people, are going to say, "Oh my god, that thing weighs a ton." And I'll give you the I'll give you the weight differences here if I can. Uh, this reel literally weighs 18.3 ounces, which is 520 grams. Okay. This reel here weighs I, I'm not really sure because, you know, it's getting in all this, it's getting into all this uh, metric in the Japanese reel here, but there's a substantial difference. But when you put it on a rod, do you really feel the substantial difference? No, you're, you don't feel it. You know when I feel it? I picked this up. And I mean, this is such a substantial reel. It's ridiculous. 
and I pick up a low profile bait caster. That's the difference. But boy, when you hang, when you've got a fish on this thing and you're fishing this reel, even though I am a low profile bait cast and SOB from hell and back. Okay. This, if you're a saltwater fisherman, you actually enjoy the fact that, um, Many times, you when you got something substantial in your hands, you know it's going to work. That's what the saltus is all about. Um, I've got this on a Shimano jigging rod. I've got this on a Shimano jigging rod. So both of these are going to play the same role fishing with me. They're playing the same role. This one... Ultra light stuff. Ultra light. This, stepping it up a notch for any jigs or any, any you know, bottom lures or anything like that. Um, one thing this doesn't do, this isn't a clicking crazy reel. You get good substantial clicking here. I mean, bam, bam, bam. Okay. Same thing as over here. Bam, 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 bam. You know, I mean, little, but here, these little, that's really close. I mean, that is micro, micro fine adjustment. Okay. Over here, not micro. Kind of what you'd think uh, heavy-duty salt water is all about. Just click, 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 click. You know, I mean, it's a whole different deal from that. Substantial. So even more substantial. I mean, listen to this. This is the kind of things that when I'm watching videos about real reviews, which this isn't a real review. I'm comparing 400 less than 200. Made by the same company. Made to do the same thing. That's what we're doing here right now. Okay? But, when I'm watching real reviews and stuff, this is what I pay attention to. Okay? Is this weak? Or is that solid as a rock? Is this metal? Or is this plastic? I believe it's metal. Let's see. That's aluminum. That's aluminum. All right, that's the differences. Believe me, I'm looking at the differences between Shimano's and Daiwa's all the time. And picture this as just being a big Calcutta, okay? Without the thumb bar. I mean, that baby... That is snapping back substantially. All right. So, I just wanted to show you, I love this reel. I love this one. In a different way. This is a work of art. This is not your Shimano workhorse. This is everything... The Shimano Workhorse Triton 100 or 200 isn't. I did a video about that. I'll put a link up talking a little bit about the differences here. But I'm coming back. I'm following up. That was a year and a half ago or a year ago or something when I did that video about these. How these have everything the Shimanos don't. Okay, for 
a little more than twice the price. But if you're looking for a knockdown, drag out, all around reel, me personally, I don't use these just for all around. I've got jobs for them. Sort of a jig and reel. Definite jig and reel. Maybe a plug casting reel. Plug casting reel. But this isn't as good as a casting reel as this one, although they're both centrifugal adjustments. You adjust your casting right here, right on the side. Is this knob anywhere as delicate and as fine as this one? Hell no. Okay. And then I'll tell you one thing I did do. I marked it right on the bottom. You probably can't see it. I put CB right there. This is a personal item. Nobody's fishing this but me. Definitely nobody's fishing this but me. But I have four more of these that my customers use. Because they won't be doing it, but I might. I might be up in the river or at the inlet or offshore or who knows where throwing giant plugs with this. So what I did is on this side of the spool and on this side of the actual reel, I put in ceramic bearings. That's what the CB, I put, put a marker right there so I can always distinguish this reel from the rest. CB, ceramic bearings. Ceramic bearings are <clears throat> completely corrosion resistant everything. They're just so much, you know, better than anything that's steel in salt water. Okay. So I put in ceramic bearings and now this thing casts totally different than one without. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you. A serious step up from any workhorse reel. Then shooting out into the universe and getting something like this. But they both have some similarities and I use them basically my my saltist, my Daiwa Ryoga. They have the same jobs. They're on the same rod. So I just want to leave you with that. I'm not one to go in and we're not talking about splitting hairs here and stuff or, or anything like that. This isn't a review. This is showing you. Alrighty, so that's that. I just wanted to share two reels doing the same job. But look at the differences. Okay. I could have, which I didn't, I purposely didn't do. I did not bring out a Shimano Triton to sit here alongside these guys okay that's the shimano triton is in a class over here this this isn't a class this isn't a class out in the universe and this one here is sitting somewhere in, on mars okay that's how i would kind of classify classify outer space not too far out out in the universe somewhere Shimano Triton, um, sitting down in a tackle box in some cat fisherman's boat, okay, sitting in a rusty tackle box trying to catch a 20-pound blue cat or whatever. But that doesn't mean it's not a good reel. It's just a bare-bones basic reel. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. I'm sitting here thinking about these reels. And I'm thinking maybe I'd share my thoughts on them. All right. So this is probably just a Jetty Wolf moment. Mm -hmm.